Hey, it's Cooley from Flat Irons Tuning, and just want to talk to you briefly about the MAP TCD controller. So if you've watched our other six-speed swap videos, I've mentioned this, but we wanted to do an in-depth video just on the DCCD controller itself and why this is the one that we like the best. Um, so the MAP DCCD controller, what you get in the box, is this somewhat intimidating package of wiring and then the controller itself, and that's it. It's a fully self-contained unit. Um, for the wiring, it's not nearly as bad as it might seem from the outset. Um, what they have done is if you have an STI that already has the basically the DC CD brain installed in it, they have all the wiring to all of the sensors that the stock brain is looking at. So you can basically pull, you know, feed the controller all of the information that the stock computer is looking at, but then with this box, you have total control and tunability of how the center diff behaves. If you're doing a swap like we did, there's really not a whole lot that you have to do to get the majority of the function out of the controller. Um, obviously you need power, you have to wire the controller to the, the center diff, which is actually only two wires. And then beyond that, there's just wiring for all of the sensor input that the MAP DCCD controller needs, which is basically um, brake, throttle position, engine speed, I'm sorry, engine RPM, and vehicle speed. With those four pieces of information, then this has all the mapping that you can really do a lot of custom tuning, get a lot of custom behaviors out of it, and set up a lot of different maps for different conditions like dirt, tarmac, snow, etc. So that's why we like this controller. So I'll show you what we did on the install and go into a little bit more detail. All right, so, so we've installed our map TCC controller here, just on the transmission tunnel. Um, again, it's a fully self-contained unit, so it has, uh, I think it's three accelerometers in it already, and so there's, there's uh, I think it's three or four different orientations that you can do with the box so that it can actually read information correctly, and you can configure that when you plug in the computer. So, you know, again, um, the information that you need to send it are the uh, basically brake, uh, throttle position, engine RPM, and vehicle speed. So the brake and the um, uh, the brake signal and the throttle position are pretty easy because you can tap into those right off of the ECU. That's easy to do. This is a 14, it's a CAN bus car, so getting the engine RPM and the vehicle speed actually were a bit tricky uh, because those signals do not go directly to the ECU. They actually go directly to the cluster. Um, what we discovered is that you can actually tap into them coming right off of the cluster. It's pretty straightforward and then you get all of that input on the older cars, on the GDs, all that's all that information comes off of the ECU. Um, like other con some other controllers, this has a, a manual feature. There's a there's a dial already on the controller. That is, if you're in manual mode, that's your your center diff control, so your center diff lockup. There's an auto feature where you can just basically tell you know look at all your accelerometers and just do whatever you think is best. And what one of the things we really like about the MAP DCCD controller is it also has four preset channels. Um, so you can select through those. Um, with those four preset channels, there's actually ten maps that you get on the controller. And when you plug in um, and connect a computer to the controller, you can select which four of those ten you load onto the controller. And then this is where you can now tune how the DCCD behaves. And so what, what MAP DCCD has done is we've got these four, uh, I guess, five different tables so um, this one is throttle uh, position, um, this one is uh, throttle position and speed, uh, then you've also got brake mapping based on spe vehicle speed, so basically if you hit the brakes, do you want the DC or the center diff to lock up, which runs into the, uh, uh, basically the, the braking modifier, so you've got miles per hour um, versus what the accelerometer is seeing. Then you can also set up a left foot braking map. So once you get into that, you can see, I mean, the cells are actually somewhat similar to how you would tune load cells in the ECU. So you can basically put in, you know, how much lockup that you want, and then, you know, the center diff controller will actually, you know, compile all of these four tables based on what you're doing, the information that you're giving the car with your driver input, and that will control what the center diff does. And they've got four different like tarmac maps for instance. One set with very aggressive lockup, one set with minimal lockup. Um, the one that we've liked the most for tarmac is the one with minimal lockup. And then 
this is their starting parameters, and you can kind of see where they set, you know, how the, how the diff will behave, uh, and then you can start to modify that from there to get a specific behavior that you want, you know, or, you know, turn on the left of braking map, or, or get more, more lockup if you're going faster when you apply the brakes. All that sort of customization is what we like the best about this controller, and the fact that it's all self-contained. So, I mean, this is, this is, there's no add-ons to the diff, this is just what you get out of the box. So, um, that's why we like the MAP DCD control. We've been really happy with it so far. Uh, it's a very simple install and just gives you a lot of control. So you can really dial it in, um, you know, when, when the time comes. So that's pretty much it. We, that's why we like this. If you have any questions, you know, shoot us a message. Um, I'll put a note in the, um, in the comments about just which, which wires from the cluster on the CAN bus cars are the, the vehicle speed and the, uh, uh, and the engine RPM. Uh, just to help you guys with the install. So that's it. Thanks for watching.